Hello, welcome to episode 11 of Kingdoms Reborn. We're making some excellent progress in our quest to completely dominate this entire map. We vassalized two AI players and a number of these little minor cities, city-states, whatever it is you want to call them. And in today's episode, we're going to do our very best to get as far as we can in the tech tree. Now that we have a little bit of a better grasp on how the market distribution system works, we're slowly upgrading all of these houses to higher levels through the uh, different luxuries we have going on. we got some uh, cocoa here. We've got cannabis here. It's not illegal yet here. <laughs> We've got uh, over in this district, district, timberborn language. Anyway, over here in this colony, We've got some coffee. We have a coffee roaster taking care of all of those things. And we have other farms as well. And we actually have a couple more different uh, luxury items that we can start growing if we purchase cards for them. Like down here we have, well, we can unlock different types of farming, which we will end up doing. We can also get into cotton and dyes. We already have tulips, already have grapes, already have cocoa, coffee, and cannabis. We just have to get these other things in there as well at some point and unlock these other farming things, as well as all of these different cards. Because if you notice, uh, we have all four right here, and we might end up changing some of these out, but each of our town halls has space for cards. So if we come on over here to these guys, they actually have three empty spots. So what we're gonna end up doing, most likely, is figuring out what it is we want this colony to specifically focus on, and to get cards that will complement that purpose as well as over here this takes kind of a long time to get a over here yeah we have mining equipment and standing army so standing army is going to go away as soon as we uh conquer everybody because there's literally no reason to even have many military units after there's nobody else to fight so we'll be able to really optimize what we're going to uh, be doing here because we have an entire age in the tech tree we haven't gotten to at all because, well, we haven't been able to upgrade anything. And there's plenty of research to be done. And they're pretty expensive in terms of uh, cost for science points. So as it stands right now, we might actually be able... Yeah, we can research the mushroom, magic mushroom farm. Say that one ten times fast. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of because we were waiting on a uh, threshold of houses. See, like right here requires 68 out of 80. Well, that's what we have. It requires 80 level six houses to research the industrial age, which I'm confident we will get to in this video. We're gonna do our best to have that unlocked by the end of the video. And then next time we can just focus on unlocking all of this and enjoying the process of the end game. So we also have cattle ranch we can unlock, which we will absolutely do right now. Go ahead and get a zoo. So that way we have unlocked every single thing that we can unlock including here in the upgrades. So we're just going to be farming points from now until... Yes, I will buy a magic mushroom farm. Thank you. I will buy a cattle ranch farm. I'm not going to buy a zoo. But in this colony, we have the bonuses for grassland herder and grass fed, which is a massive, massive boost to our ranch productivity. So we want to be... You know, can't be built in a desert, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, come on. I really can't put this here? There's one square. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. All right. Can't be built on a desert, so it literally has to go... <sighs> you are joking me. Come on. Well, I'm going to figure out somewhere to put the cows. It doesn't seem like there's really anywhere I can put them, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to come back to that at a later time. But, friends, let's not forget that we have military power, and this guy's got land that we want. So if we were to, uh, you know, just, uh, oh, you know what? I can't say I'm upset that I can't fight with a frigate inland in a desert. But man, would that have been cool. So we'll, uh, we'll have to figure out something else to go attack this guy with. Fortunately, these minor cities are never really any sort of actual threat. So what we'll end up doing is probably just uh, making a bunch of cannons. Because we're going to use them anyway, so 
and they only take wealth to produce, so it's not like we're going to be really having any sort of problems with that. So let's just go around and check and make sure. Yeah, this, this colony is low on wood, but they have plenty of coal, so our people are not going to freeze to death this time around, thankfully. Yeah, uh, some of you pointed out in the uh, comments that uh, maybe the reason why people were dying from cold is because they used all the wood to build frigates during the winter. Yeah, you know, it's fine. So let's see, we've got up here, I think these are houses. Yeah, quick build. Now we want to get as many of these houses upgraded as possible, and we have a luxury importer, so they should, should be able to uh, take care of all of that stuff. So I'm just going to help them out right now and quick build these houses for them. We can get people in here ASAP to start doing more and more fun stuff. All right, so output inventory full. They're outputting stone, which needs to be used for some sort of purpose. And how oh, we, have, we have almost 10,000 stone. Oh, man. Okay. So what that means is we have to actually export stone tools elsewhere. Where is my... Here it is. From colony number one. Come on, let me click on this. All right, I'm going to start importing stone tools. We have, we have 5,940. Okay. All right, so let's come over here instead. Is this one from colony one? Yes. Okay, so stone tools, we're going to import many. Let's just say 500. And then we can actually have them sell. Wow, look at this. We got raw cocoa. Oh, we should be making chocolate, actually. Under luxury items, yeah, 20, 66. Wow, that's a pretty good price, 46 coins. I think we can get behind that. But to buy the milk to make the chocolate is kind of expensive. So we definitely need to be exporting. And I think we can get away with exporting stone tools. Let's say we want our target inventory to be 500. No, I don't want... Come on. Yeah, it looks like they're going to sell 14. They're going to buy 56 milk. That's fine. It'll balance out. And as we have more stone tools imported from this other district, we'll be able to just sell more as we go along. And actually, okay, we got people that are unhappy. Why are they... Why are you unhappy? Tell me your ales. Okay, you are freezing because you don't have heat. Well, we have plenty, so I don't know. Uh, wow, they're already level five. So we, we need to drastically improve our brick production, which I don't remember where or even if there is a, a brick place over here. We got clay pits, we got potters. I actually don't remember if we have one. So, Brickworks. Yeah, I think I would have remembered putting this in somewhere. So, that's not going to fit there. Um, I'll just quick build this because we actually need... There we go. Upgrade level, specialized tools, Brickworks town. da 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 yeah, let me know when you're tired of uh, listening to me make that sound. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. So we actually have now 32 open uh, employment slots. We don't have that many open housing uh, slots because not all of these have upgraded yet. Some of these are level 3, some are level 5. And I think we still have a couple of level 2s. Yeah, there's one there. This is upgrading from level 3 to level 4. So again, now that this is pretty much good to go. We have our market and we have our luxury importer right next to each other. We just need to be able to add some more houses to let people exist here. They have to be within the range of the market, which I think I can still do on this side. Is that still? Yes. But I'm not going to be able to do all of them in range. I think just these two. 
Actually, not even this one. Well, that's too bad. Because I don't want to deal with that. We'll just put that one there. And I've got to find... That's not going to be in range either. So I'm going to have to put one up here. Even though it's not a... Uh... Oh, that, that was bushes. Shrubberies, I'm sorry. I have to be uh, respectful to the lore here. Alright, so that is going to be, I think, about as uh, far as I can go. Unless I can get these across here to actually be in range. That one's good. That one should be good. Yep, looks good to be. If that one's good, this one probably will not be. Let's um, put that there. Looks like that is. Alright, I'm going to try this. No, not good. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that one because remember, I, I really want these to all be in range so we can, you know, get them luxuries. So I'll just quick build all these guys here. Yes, please join my city and give me a book. I think we're going to want... Job happiness seems... Passion is just such a useful card. Yes. Yes. Da -da -da -da. And so, of course, the reason why I want another uh, or just any Brickworks to be going absolutely ham is because we need bricks. <laughs> That's just really all there is to it. I've got another passion book up here. Uh, but what I really need is I need a... Uh, Actually, let's just go buy one because we have this card buyer thing. We want a frugality book. Which we will then put immediately on our brickworks by uh, moving our military cards back up where they belong. Okay, nope, I don't want to hit that. Stop it. All right, frugality book goes inside. And now it only costs us 45 coins instead of 151. That's savings. Love to see that. So once we start... Oh, oh we're out of medicine. Uh, are we importing medicine? Yes, I'm going to uh, start importing much more of that. Yep, dying from sickness is definitely not how we want to spend our time here. Looks like we're uh, foresting appropriately. They need iron tools. We don't have iron tools, but we do have chocolates. We have many chocolates and vodka, and we have cannabis as well, so that's going well. I think we can leave these guys alone for a little while, check in on our tech tree, how we're doing. Yeah, so we have 62 level 6 houses. These should, on a long enough timeline, upgrade to level 6, assuming we can get the uh, chocolate production stabilized enough where we can export and have everything uh, good to go here. So we're going to leave these guys alone for a little bit and come on over here. Check these guys out. Oh, level seven. Ah, I had not even thought about level seven. That's cool. So let's see, um, seven cannons and three, <laughs> three musketeers. Should be enough. Should be enough to raise... Where are they? Right here? Yeah. To raise these guys. I have to get them out of here. And go. Alright. So we have... Seven cannons, three dudes with guns against 49 angry farmers with pitchforks. 46 angry farmers with pitchforks. 43... We're going to leave them to do their thing for a little bit. At any rate, once uh, once these guys are all uh, sufficiently conquered, then I believe that's going to open up just enough tiles for us to put a uh, cattle ranch up here, which means we can have beef and milk, most importantly. These guys are still in super barbarian mode. Look at these bricks. Look at all this stuff. Man. All right, I guess we're upgrading all of our... Uh, Da -da. Upgrading all these things. 
Yeah, just let me know when this sounds annoying. <laughs> what, what is that episode of Spongebob when she's like, oh, let me know when this is irritating, and then... <laughs> or is that Spongebob? Or am I thinking of, um, I don't know. It was one of those kind of shows. But it's like, oh, let me know when this is annoying, and then it immediately is the most irritating sound you have ever heard in your entire life. Alright, so that was a pretty easy fight. We got a whole bunch of money. And now, we have a new province. Which means, Cattle Ranch. We have the technology. So we'll put that guy right there. And now, guess what? Oh, are you... Ding-dongs. Alright, well, the Cattle Ranch is here. That's fine. That's what we wanted. That is okay. So instead of being irritated about it, we're just going to put in a uh, warehouse next to the other warehouse. Oh, I didn't want that. Get out of here. Next to the other warehouse. And we'll just uh, make this into a uh, regular stone. We have enough stone. So why not, huh? Might as well just make every single road in this entire colony stone because we just have so much. It is unbelievable. And they're just, they're just sticking stuff down there. They don't even need storage. Man, we got to upgrade everything over here. We're uh, we're behind the times. They're just, they're just leaving it all over the ground. Uh, oh, come on, people. Come on. You're better than that. We don't want to be messy here. Now, can I... Yes. We'll just put three more of these guys right there. They will definitely, definitely make use of all that. The storage jar can actually go away. And we can uh, try something else for later. Stone tool shop is doing fine. We really need... Man, what is all this? Leather. Man, we are just... Uh... Da -da. Okay, that is... We just need a lot of warehouses. And realistically, we just need a... Uh, we need to sell some stuff. Why is this colony making so much more stuff than everybody else? My god, look at this. Almost 10,000 stone. Look at all this iron ore. Man. You guys over here, you gotta you gotta get with the program, man. We have, look at all these iron bars. Oh, man. All right. So clearly, clearly we just need to supercharge our iron ore smelting here. Man. All right, uh, put this here. Uh, we have so much money, I'm just going to insta-build all of these. Have we already upgraded everything? All right, so that's good. We have tons more capacity for producing iron ingots, iron bars, whatever you want to call them. So hopefully they can uh, take care of that. Uh, we need to make some more tailors, I know for sure. Or we can just export and have other people do it. But this this colony seems to be an absolute powerhouse for production, I guess because of the cards we chose when we started making all of this stuff here. And we got some oh, yummy white liquid from cows. Hmm. We're just gonna leave that alone who is homeless that's not allowed wow we have 670 okay we need substantially more in the way of uh houses here so now we have a problem because i don't want to build houses outside of range of a market anymore and uh oh okay no that's in range so I guess now we have to uh, have to kind of find a good spot. Yes, I know we have a forester here that is very sadly not going to be uh, able to continue operating in this area because it's going to be all houses pretty soon. So no cards in there. We're going to demolish that one, and we'll just uh, we'll just move him somewhere else. So let's see. There we go. 
should be enough room for a uh, warehouse right there. Yeah. Mmm, so close. And yeah, so far. Do I have... Oh, they're four wide. That's too bad. We'll put one there. And then we'll put one there. And then I think I can put another one. Yes, I can put another one here. Or not there. I lied. That's fine. We are going to quick build most of these. And by most, I mean all, except I clicked in the wrong spot. And these should all be in range of, yeah, of all these markets because uh, there is, oh, this is in a different one. So this house is not in range. Okay, these two houses aren't in range. That's, um, well, that's okay. They will be all right. Da 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 da. Ugh, when the, uh, when the tuning is bad. Da 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 da. It is kind of fun, though, having those out of tune like that. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Why do I. I haven't clicked don't show this again in the first 15 hours of playing. Eh, I'll click it now. That's fine. One died of sickness out of all of that. That's pretty good. We just need to make sure everybody has a place to live. Now I can accommodate almost up to 700, and that's just going to keep increasing as more luxury stuff gets distributed. Now we only have 49 out of... We didn't have that many downgrade. So why is that? I wonder if this instead is just like a percentage. That wouldn't make any sense. I don't know, but that's uh interesting. At any rate, um, let's see, appeal 92. Most of these are, okay. Some of these could definitely stand to have some, uh, some shrubberies. I can't do anything else with that land, so might as well just stick a bunch of shrubs back there. What, what did this end up saying? The appeal was like a hundred and something percent. 108%, 130, 135. Yes, please come in. Regality book, we could definitely use some of those. Yes. So the appeal is still 92% there, 84%, 100%, 100%. I guess it's never going to show higher than 100%, which is uh, fine, I guess. I guess we'll just do that. Yep, 84. At some point, they should begin to appreciate the Beautiful shrubberies. How are we st <laughs> Where do these people come from? Oh man, I just can't keep up. I cannot keep up. Um, I need to put in... Okay, first of all, this pig ranch is going bye bye Let's get... Oh, there's no cards here? Yeah, pig ranch is going bye bye Because we need this space for literally anything else. Also, we have plenty of food imported from over here where they are much better at ranching, so we should let them let them do the ranching where they are good at doing the ranching. So now we have our appeal should be a, a little bit better. We can put in a market. I think if I put it on this side, we should, yeah, 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 yeah. We get all that. That's good there. We'll quick build. And then we still on the appeal screen. Yeah. Um, let's check out. Yeah, so for some reason, it's the appeal's low over here, low-ish. I think the way that this ends up working out, I'm going to have room for some shrubberies down the back side here. Yeah, look at all this. Look at all this additional space we've got. I guess we should uh, put in some stuff. Stone roads. This helps movement speed too, which is very important. Uh, 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 um. Yeah, how about... Can't really do anything else with this space, so might as well just put a whole bunch of shrubberies. Yep, yep, 
yep, yep, yep. So now the appeals. Oh yeah, 108 percent, 120 percent. There you go, 125. All right, these people have not been convinced. So let's just uh, help them out a little bit. A little bit of landscaping never hurt anybody. Cool. So now they should have a substantially higher appeal. Da -da. Upgrade our insulation and fireplaces. Hmm. Yes. All right, so these guys should, I don't think, um, level seven house is enormous. Um, I don't think there is a luxury importer in range of the rest of these markets. There's just this one, and then this one might actually have base for one. If I go ahead and banish my military back up here and bring our luxury importers back down, Mmm, yes. Okay, so this actually needs to be here. It's fine. That should help pretty much all of these houses with the exception of maybe these be fine. Uh, where's the road that goes into this? Does it not need a road? Where we're going, we don't need roads. They need wheat flour. No, they need wheat. Um... We really don't have wheat. It's late summer, I guess. They just haven't harvested any yet. 46 out of 80 houses. Yeah, there's got to be something funky happening here. We got to get these. We got to get these guys upgraded. Pronto. Da -da. I do wish. I, I know I could. I could just do like this way and just go around upgrading everything. But I feel like there should just be some sort of a uh, way to do this automatically. Sure would be nice. Taverns, mushroom farms. Um, the sheep ranch can probably actually go away too. We can put some more, some more stuff here, but I'm not going to get rid of it quite yet. Uh, let's see, what else? I think pretty much everything else is upgraded. I don't see much of an issue there. Okay. Meanwhile, how are we looking here? Okay, we're in about to be in need of some houses here as well. Now, where are my... Yeah, my guy's over here. Appa inventory full again, huh? Okay, do I have a trading company in this colony? I don't know. So I guess, I guess I need to build some of those. We can put them right here because this is ugly. Build two of those, quick build because we can. Okay, we'll mark that as a subsidiary. Then we can auto export. Let's say iron bars. We'll just uh, say we can export a ton because we uh, <laughs> we have so many. I'm going to say keep a thousand in stock at all times. So then we just have to come in here with our... Uh, where it is? Okay. Find some other undesirable place to put all of this here. Uh, where? All right, well, I can build this in a desert. I sure can't build any cow pastures for some reason. But I sure can build all this. Uh, see, this isn't appeal either, but we have a way to fix that. With the magic of a shrubbery. So we'll just uh, go right along the backside here. Like, surely this was found in playtesting to be just a completely ridiculous exploit, but eh, you're not going to catch me complaining. It just makes the uh, the late game a little easier. Now, if these are all in a range, and they are, that is fantastic. I love that. Excellent. So that leaves us some space up here. I don't really know what else we can put there. 
But all of these houses theoretically have access to luxury goods from the importer. They just need to have some uh, actual storage built so stuff can be, well, stored. And we have enough of it right now. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter. All right, so now this colony has a capacity of 232 presently, which will keep increasing once we have all of our uh, houses upgraded. All right, so now, yeah, this has to be some sort of average thing because it's just, it's only gone down as we built more houses and houses haven't downgraded. So I don't really understand what's the, uh, deal with that and it doesn't change when you go to a different colony area well at any rate one of the things we need to do auto trade I want to export what do we have here gold ore we're not going to export that because we're turning that into money we don't have cannabis in this in this town why is that are we not importing it colony Two. It doesn't seem like we are. Come on. Colony one. So colony two, we actually need to be importing. That's right. We didn't have it set up. So we will do that. Nice and easy there. Okay. So we actually had a net decrease in uh, revenue and science production rate, but it will continue to go up. We just need people to upgrade their houses. I don't know why this number is going down, though. That is just very strange. These houses should be upgrading. Should be. Furniture, beer, and pottery. We've got wine got a ton, a ton of vodka. Meanwhile, over here, look at all these little five houses. We're doing great. Da -da. And now we have tons of bricks. So let's just go ahead and make sure these are all upgraded. I don't, I really don't think that has any, uh, any bearing on whether or not the houses upgrade, but it does help them in the uh, cold. I say as everyone is in mid-spring. I wish I could just have a button to do all of these at once because it does get kind of annoying. Well, the fact that a lot of these houses are already at level 5 gives me hope that maybe... Oh, I need paper. Maybe we can have everything else taken care of. Need input of clay and coal. We don't have any coal. Why? Because the coal mine is in a different province. So we actually need... Uh, yeah. We need these guys up here. See if I can get this to be. Uh... Right. First of all, we have to find out where the coal actually goes. Coal mine. All right, so I can put one. Has to be on this side of the mountain. Seems. The house is too far. Yeah, well, I know. We're gonna fix that. I don't think I can build a stone road through the mountain, so it's gotta come. Got to come around here. Now, where is the fastest? I guess we don't really care about straight roads, do we? I guess we'll just have this go all the way up and connect right like that. Can I speed build? Yes, I can. Bang. Done. So, what we're going to do now, not very appealing, but... We have some area over here we can... This is actually 99%. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, can I get over here? No, that's not going to work. 96%. That's more like it. 100%. We need to put in a market. A oh, beekeeper. We haven't built a beekeeper, have we? Oh, we'll build a castle too. Why not? We're having a good time here. Just give me a... Don't need to buy immigrants. We have more than we can handle. Yeah, I'll take a wild card in a market for these guys. And I think, based on our appeal map, I think we're going to want market to be somewhere in this area. I think would uh, behoove us. So I'll stick that right there. That'll cover most of those guys. That'll connect up there. And we can just keep on building houses. And you know how we fix our appeal problems, don't you? That's right, kids. We use shrubberies. All right, well, that'll be, uh, that'll be fine. Leave that space open. Quick build a couple houses and a market. So I think these guys might actually be able to go between provinces. Is that how this works? Mint, um, we have so much gold. I'm just going to keep making them. I don't think that's against the rules or anything. So we have an unbelievable amount of wealth here. Uh, quick build. Yeah, sure. Why not? Get it. Gold smelter. Another wild card. Might as well just keep stacking these things so they make an unbelievable amount of money. Oh, it's not going to let me do that, huh? Castle. Uh, we have the technology. We have the resources. So why don't I put this in an ugly spot nobody cares about? Oh, that quick build cost. Okay. That's, uh... That's not tenable. 298,584 coins. I don't think we need to be worrying about quick building that one. So now, let's see. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, I don't need to be clicking on those. I'm not going to upgrade worker slots because I don't have that many workers. Uh, do I have another uh, luxury importer? Yes, I do. We'll put that right there. That's looking nice. Yeah, these guys will be in very good shape to get all of this done. So now this colony has... Oh, it's actually almost fully employed. That's good. 51 houses. Okay, we're making progress. A lot of these guys are level 5. A lot of them are level 3. Nobody's level 4 that I can see. Which is kind of kind of weird that there's an absence of level 4. And nobody's level 6 either, which tells me that there's something we're missing in terms of luxuries. Cocoa processing. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's good. I think, okay, yeah, because we're, we're exporting chocolates. Pottery, how's the pottery doing? Brickworks, potter. We'll, uh, we'll do that. I guess we just need more warehouses, huh? Well, when you have a ton of money, I guess it's not really a challenge anymore to find space to put stuff, is it? That's fine. We have plenty more space up here now to uh, do all this other fun stuff with. Just buy all the provinces we can because we can. Ah, we have to connect the trade route. That's right. 
it's unlikely we're gonna actually, you know, uh, do anything with this. Um, don't need any more iron ore. Uh, I was going to try and put in some trade or resource outposts. Excuse me. That's how we're getting all of our gold currently. I think we can afford to put a couple over here. Because these guys are, I think they're going to run out at some point. Yeah, there's not a whole lot left. So what we'll do, I think, is that a, uh, is that a card I have to purchase? Let's turn this off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think, yes, okay. Let's buy a couple more of those. All right, and then let's come out to the map, find another source of gold. Tulips. Oh yeah, look at these bad boys up here. Province without any owner. Who owns this? Or is it just because I can't see it? Okay. That guy there is looking fine. Queue up another one of these. All right, let's find some more gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. All right, that works. Why is it lagging? Okay, that's good. All right, so that's all, uh, all set for that. Looking good there, looking good. But now we just need, once again, to get another another 26 houses at a level 6. Okay. So, beekeepers, beekeepers. Where are my bees? Where can I put bees? Efficiency. They need to be close to uh, crops? Or how is this... Uh, is this just like, okay, so it doesn't like, uh, oh, they're trees, duh. Because maybe this, this, uh, is not a fantastic place to put one. All right, so I was wrong completely about where this is supposed to go. Uh, what about over here? Oh, wow, look at this. 123%, that's, uh, promising. 136, 38 139, 140? Okay, that sounds good. Upgrade level, intensive care. Movable frame hive, huh? Alright, that's uh that's something at least. More level five houses here. They need um uh, frugality book, definitely. We just need to get, how much wood do we have in this three? Okay, we need more wood. So I think our, uh, I think our forester here could uh, use a little bit of help. We'll give him an additional forester friend. How about that? How far up can I get this? Okay. We'll do that. Go up uh, there. Perfect. Quick build. Prioritize planting non-fruit trees. Cut any trees. Da -da -da -da. Uh, storage too far. Too far. Once again. All right, so that problem has been solved. Uh, let's harvest. No, I don't need to harvest stone. We already have so much stone. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 33 laborers. Okay, so we have a nice surplus of people here, which is good to see. So now we're back down to 44 out of 80, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Is it just the 80 most recent houses built? Is that how that works? Probably wouldn't surprise me if that's what it was. Okay, we need... Okay, we've already bought all of these. Probably need to actually, uh... Oh yeah, look at all this. Let's buy... Yeah, we need our roads to come out here. Then put in a bridge. Can I not see where I am supposed to? There we go. Just bring this all the way out again. 
Now, is it going to let me go? Yes. All the way across. Straight lines are good. They're fine, at least. So that's going to open up access to all of this farmland, which is going to be great for doing, uh, well, anything. But I think what we probably need to be doing is growing lots of... There's no road here. I'm going to be growing lots of the, uh, what's it called? Medicinal herb. Even though we're already growing other stuff here. Okay, max area 500. That's probably fine. Their house is too far. Wah. We will fix that problem. 100% appeal. Now, okay, now the storage is too far. Oh, wow. Okay, that's going to be good there. We need to put in a granary. Can easily do right there. We'll just speed build all of this because literally, why not? Jeff died from starvation. Poor Jeff. Don't tell me in our enormous mega city here that we don't have enough uh don't have enough import of food. Alright, importing from colony one. Not importing a food? I'm going to import 2,000 food from Colony 1. Because down here, they should have fun stuff like cows now. Yeah, yeah, look at this. And I think... Uh, oh, Magic Mushroom Farms. I forgot about that's a good luxury. In the game, I am not responsible for what you choose to do in your own free time and your local controlled substance laws, etc. But for the purposes of this game, this is a slam dunk for us to do here. Da -da -da -da. And I think I can just go ahead and yeah, buy a cattle ranch. I don't need a... I hate to use a buy wood card, but I'll buy it anyway. Other one. Yeah, we'll just boost up some wood here. And yeah, another magic mushroom farm. I'm going to put one of these in every every uh, colony here. Okay, colony two, you sound like you could use some magic mushrooms. Is there anywhere that has low appeal for housing? Although I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just kind of put this wherever I want. There we go. And they need iron tools. That I don't seem to have any of. All right, well, they'll be okay without that anyway. So, let's see, is it going to let me... Can't be built on desert. Yes, I know. Ah, what a shame. Just those specific tiles. I can, I can put it here, but I can't put it anywhere else. Would make that make sense. That's fine. We'll just have to uh, have our own fun anyway. Quick build cattle ranch. Don't mind if I do. Storage is too far. Well, friend, how about we put some storage that is not too far, just for you? Except it doesn't want me to do anything. Okay, so now you have storage. These guys are good to go. I guess I could... Uh, there's already 230% efficient, but if we have some passion for our cows, come up here and do the same. Now they're 245% efficient, and they're 90% job happiness. You'll love to see it, folks. Love to see it. Upgrade our mushroom farms. Those are already upgraded, so that's good. Meanwhile, on the magic mushroom farm, let's uh, be frugal about our psychedelics here. Where did I put the one in uh, in this guy? I actually do Okay, it's up here. I was about to say, that's pretty bad. I can't remember where I, 
where I put those guys. There we go. So now let's see what tier luxury is that? Or do I even have any yet? Luxury tier two. All right, any uh, level sixes in here? I don't see. Still a lot of level fives. No, most of them are level five at least, which is uh, progress. I forgot to check our tech tree. Yeah, see, it's st <laughs> it's still under fifty. What what is the deal? We just gotta get a gotta get a whole bunch more luxuries, I guess. Which really doesn't make sense if we have uh, I already have all of this going on. Really, uh, really shouldn't be a problem. I just need to. Uh, to get some more of these guys doing something, I guess. Oh, that's clutch to put that right there. That works. How about... Yeah, level 3, level 5, level 5, level 5. So you guys just need some more luxuries. Furniture and pottery are probably easy ones. But we don't, uh... We don't have enough wood to really do too much because we're exporting, exporting so much wood. But we have auto, uh, we have auto trade. Um, I'm going to stop importing milk. I'm going to start importing. I can't import furniture, really. Oh, are we seriously doing this again? Are we dying from cold again already? Man, I'm telling you what, this this town, 704 people is just absolutely poverty spec right now. <sighs> you clowns. Okay. Coal mine. Upgrade re... Oh, wow, we haven't done any of these. Okay, that might be why. That could possibly have something to do with how much of a disaster this currently is. All right, let's... um, Let's just get more coal mines up here. Or can I not... Really? I, I can't put any of these in here. Come on, man. That is annoying. Where else can I put one of these? Up here, coal ore, coal ore. Um, oh, okay. This actually uh, could work here. Why did that not work? I need another... Animal cards. Hold up. That's interesting. Give me... Coal mine. There we go. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll quick build these. Unpause. So this should... All right, die from cold, die from cold. Stop that. I order you to stop dying from the cold. I guess that's kind of messy to do it that way. Oh well. How are we uh, doing on this, by the way? Okay, we're getting uh, we're getting kind of close. Now we have, in this town, we have almost full employment, which is good. So hopefully, we get these guys going here. Increase the budget, because we can. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on down. Um, Do I still have a charcoal burner here? Iron smelter, blacksmith. I think I got rid of the charcoal burner. Should have at least. Yeah, we need more. We just need more. Honestly, of everything. I need to build another medicine thing. Medicine maker. Make some medicine. Yes, please join frugality book. Quick build. Da-da, da-da, da-da. Not enough wood for upgrades, so our auto trade no longer needs to import milk. 
Uh, exporting glass seems to be... Oh my god, look at all the sand. We have 10,000 sand. I guess we're going to start exporting a whole bunch of sand. So let's keep 2,000 and export literally as much as we want. And... Oh, that's right. I was going to import. Uh, I can't import... I guess I could import wood. That seems like kind of a waste, but it is what it is. Would like to try and import uh, or have at all times about 2,000 wood. Buy an up to uh, 2,000 piece chunks. Can upgrade all of this. And then I think we just need to go to town and build a whole bunch of trading companies. Because we can just uh, mark those as subsidiaries. Come over here to the desert where there's literally nothing else to do with the land. Next to our beautiful, and by beautiful I mean horrible, gold smelting emporium. So we'll just keep on doing that. Buy wood card is very useful. I need to get a couple more of these wild cards. Here we go, and then come over here to trading company. I think I can I think I could just shift click these. Yeah. Alright, we'll just turbo. Get all these guys going so we can have a faster, better trading experience happen. Okay. So now our capacity is Yeah, okay. Love to see that. Although I think we still need 2,400 is a pretty good amount. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where? Wild card. Yeah, and then we can actually have, if we're going to be importing wood, we can start auto making furniture as well. Because I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can import that. I think it has to be made. Yeah, we'll just end up uh, just buy a whole bunch of wood. Trading companies. Got these guys here. Got to find some other spot for all of that. Let's see if I can find somebody else. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, keep on doing these. You know the rules, and so do I. Clicking in the wrong spot is not advisable. Da -da. Here we go, upgrade. We get to upgrade all these again for the industrial age, which I'm sure is going to have to require some sort of other material we can't make yet. Okay, how are we looking on our houses? 58 out of 80. Okay, that's promising. We're almost at the level it was at the beginning of the episode. So now our trading capacity for auto trade should be... Yep, 3840. That's looking nice. Still on track to lose money based on... Well, everything else. What can we export? Gold ore. I'm not going to export the gold ore. We're turning it into money. That's fine. Luxury vodka. We need to export... Woodka. Okay, that'll work. All right, and now luxury importers don't need to worry about those. Um, oh, I got a pig ranch I got to put somewhere. I was going to build a furniture maker. Because we need more furniture. That's probably one of the easiest ones, honestly. Except we uh, haven't been, well, making any of them. Okay, this is actually a perfect spot for that. Quick build. Da -da 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 -da. Furniture town. Upgrade that. What's our other one looking like? Okay, if I wholly upgraded, fully upgraded. And I guess that was it. Oh, we had four. 
Oh. Okay. So, having a whole bunch of those is probably... Oh, I haven't upgraded this one yet. Need input, huh? We have gold. We have gold ore. So where... Is it just not being stored nearby? Is that a... Hmm. It's very strange. Frugality book. There we go. We had two people named Marley die of old age at the same time. It's a little suspicious. Man, we are not going to get... We are just not going to get up here, are we? I just don't understand. I don't understand how it keeps going down. We just keep building more and more luxuries. Although these guys definitely don't have access to enough stuff. Pottery, furniture is an easy one. Assuming they can actually, uh, well, you know, do anything here. Uh, our tailors, we can just bump the funding for them. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no, no, you, you need, you need the frugality card. So we actually have quite a few leather tailors. We have leather and we should also have, um, cotton we don't have here. So we actually need... Probably not to be making the clothes in that one. Probably need to be making them over here. Because of where all of our... Uh... Yeah, we need... <laughs> we need to have tailors in this one. Alright, so we will... Uh... We will definitely... Be putting in... A tailor over here. Or at least a couple of them. Alright, where is a good spot, I guess? Next to the cows? Near the cows? Quick build, because we have money to throw away. Leather clothes. I don't have another one in this province, so that's... Uh, that's fine. Go ahead and do another one of these. We are starting to run out of time here. I know as soon as I say that, it ends up going another, well, 800 years after that, so... You know how it goes. All right, secondary tailor. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we can put that there. And then come around back with a road. And hopefully this will help make some, uh, some more clothing here. Because we're going to have so much leather already anyway. I would. You might as well just keep on building. Am I getting another one? No, I'm going to have to keep drawing for it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where? Come on, give me one. Give me one more. There we go. All right. That guy right there. Buy some more wood so nobody dies. Okay. Yeah, we're doing well now. We just gotta get more stuff going. So we have Taylor World here. And I think we can still yeah, we're we're using the leather pretty fast here. I do have a pig ranch I need to put somewhere can't farm in the desert because you can't farm pigs in the desert for for some reason I guess that's not allowed okay now up here where I have all of my all of my tailors doesn't seem to be a very uh, very wise use of resources because we don't have any leather don't have any leather so probably Probably in our best interest to just get rid of these, as much as that kind of uh, kind of sucks. Unless we can find a good spot to put in our uh, cattle ranch, and then just kind of 
kind of deal with it, except there's a lot of desert here. I don't necessarily need to be cutting down trees. Is that a fruit gatherer? Yeah. I'm not going to mess with that. They're, uh, they're fine as they are. We already have sheep. Oh, no, these are set to make with wool. So why... Okay, so I just need to change these to wool clothing. That's that's really all it is. We have... Yeah, we have plenty. Plenty. What what was I thinking? I had to get rid of these? Nah. No, you just, you just have to know your resources. I wish the top of this window wouldn't move when I change that, because then I have to move my mouse. I know. First world problems. Let's find... Uh, these tailors are expensive. Put another frugality book in here. Yeah, let's... um. This is something that I think I might have mentioned before, but people had suggested that I do in this video is just to... Uh, can I not buy any more until I click all of these? Is that uh, hello? Can I... There we go. No. I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of these. Go around to all of our expensive stuff. All right. Where is my tailors again? Right here. Okay, you already have a frugality book. You have a frugality book. You do not. You get one. You have one. You have one. You have one. I think we all... I think we all have one. Okay, our mint... Uh, can definitely... The irony is not lost on me. Using a frugality card on a mint. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. Uh, these guys aren't super expensive, but we might end up wanting to... Uh, Want to do that anyway. Coal mines uh, seem to be doing fine. Castle is. Oh, wow, score is very high. 4,028. I don't know what reference I should have for that, but that seems like a pretty good number. Still only 50. Are you kidding me? Like, Okay, please, if you understand this mechanic, please give me some sort of hint in the comments as to what I'm doing wrong. Because all I have done this entire episode is increase access to luxuries and the number keeps going down. I really, truly do not understand. Okay, who else is expensive? No, we've got level 7 houses, level 6 houses. It's like, what, like, what's going on? Come on. I have so much... Ugh, come on. I really wanted to do that in this episode, but now we're already over an hour. I can't really go too much longer. Oh, these houses aren't even occupied. Maybe that's why. If the average house level is too low. I don't know, it, doesn't, it really doesn't seem like a smart mechanic to do it that way, but... What do I know? I really, uh... Really don't quite get it. Okay. Luxury tier one. I gotta get something here. They just want more beer, huh? More furniture. I, th I thought I was making furniture. I thought we were doing well making furniture. God, stupid. I wish this window would stop moving. All right. You can get increased. It's just the wood, man. So we, we have three of these. One, two, three, four, five. We have five of these. We still can't supply everybody with furniture. Really? That seems kind of... Uh, that seems kind of ridiculous. Maybe just a little bit. What do we have here? What is this? Gold ore? Yep. Uh, I think we figured that one out. So how does this not have any input is what I want to know. Is that because there's no... Uh, nobody working? Is that what the problem is? We don't have enough people here? Oh, and oh, now I can buy this one. Uh, colony. It's fine. How many... Uh, Okay, we have 12 that aren't here. All right, that's... Uh, thanks for playing. I 
Uh, give me some more immigrants. I guess if that's how we're going to have to play here. Well, we got room for plenty more. So I guess this is, uh, this is our life now. Clicking through here, looking for immigrant cards. We can have everybody making everything so more people who can't afford to uh, buy luxuries can buy luxuries that don't exist. I, f I feel like we may be playing with more, more citizens than the game really wants you to have. Our total population is a very cool 1,223. Just casual. Alright, come on. I, I just, I want to see... I want to see some sort of extremely positive news in terms of upgrading. I know I skipped one earlier. In terms of upgrading all these houses to level 6. Because it really and truly should not be that hard to get where we need to be going. It really should not be. But for some reason, it just is. Alright, so now we have maximum capacity. So now we should have... Oh, so we, now we have 534 job slots instead of... Alright. Output inventory full, need input, nobody's working here, of course. Furniture workshops are furniture workshopping. Man, we're just... It's like we're up against the eight ball with all this stuff. Guess I gotta build more houses now, which is another problem. Because we have so much else. Oh, man. Because I just have too many jobs. Is this still the appeal, appeal screen? Yeah. Alright. So now we need to find somewhere to put a whole bunch of houses. That are going to be easy to appeal. So I guess we'll just... Stick a bunch of them right here. That's fine. We have the power of shrubberies on our side. Should we uh should we need them? Those are still in range. I thought they would be. Okay, and we have a luxury importer. There's only there's only coal in stock here. Okay. So I think I'm willing to bet one of our problems is we don't have enough haulers to uh, actually accomplish anything, so we'll probably want to put a couple of those down, which of course adds more jobs that need to be done, which means we need more people, which means we need more resources. The house is downgrading. Don't downgrade from level 2. Okay, no, upgrading to level 3. All right. I can live with that. All of you who like short episodes, I am sorry. Well, it's probably going to be bad news for uh, you guys all weekend if you don't like long episodes. I can't say what's coming Sunday, but it's going to be a real fun one. And it's going to be long. Alright, so those houses are uh, in a little bit of a better spot here. Come one, come all, come get literally anything. Alright, we need... We need... Hauling services. Which I know just adds more jobs. But we definitely need those. We can add some jobs in here too. We kind of forgot about all these guys. Level 5, level 3, level 5. None of these have gone up to level 6 yet. Because I feel like we... uh. Oh, there's no milk. That's right, because we don't have any milk. But we should be able to import from Colony 1 here. Let's try that. And then I think we can also build a cattle ranch. If I can find it. How do you... Oh, there you go. Put one of these... Oh, is this going to be like the perfect size? I'm not going to put it right here, because then I can grow more... Uh, Marijuana's. But 
these guys over here, that's better farmland. Uh, fertility, oh yeah, fertility wise, we definitely, definitely want to be putting the cattle ranches over here. That's fine. Come on down. Productivity, sustainability sounds good. All right, cattle ranch is going to cattle ranch. Probably would not be a bad idea to uh, just have a couple of those over here. Yes, I know quick build is expensive. It's fine, too far from storage. We will fix you. Do not be worried about that. So these should, they don't really cost anything. There's not really any input, so that's okay. I already have frugality and passion. So that's all well and good. Okay, how are we, uh, how are we doing here? I guess that's fine. We're already pretty much at capacity unless these houses upgrade. Magic mushroom farms, magic mushrooming. I guess we just need to build more of these. So. <sighs> All right, so we, we need the uh, we need the money, which is a problem because I've been spending it like a like it's going out of style. Depleted, so there's no more stone. You know what that means. Get your cards back, and then we will uh, get rid of these guys. Why can't... Okay, there we go. I thought I already clicked on that. All right, so now our stone tools workshop, uh, I think. Okay, we still have plenty of stone. That's fine, but now we have all of this space that we kind of can't do anything with. I'm going to sell our quarries. We definitely don't need those. We have all these cards we can put somewhere else. Fully uh, carded here. Yep, looks like it. Fishing Lodge, yes. Please fish intensely with the white hot intensity of a thousand suns. Where? That's level 7. Come on. This, how? How is this still only 54? Come on, man. At, at this point, it has to be. It has to be something I've done wrong. Glass Smelter Guild. That's already upgraded. Mm, hauling services. Yeah, we can definitely upgrade those. That's what I was going to do. Is I was going to place more hauling services, but I didn't have any money. But we also need to have more magic mushrooms so we can have... Look at all these dudes going everywhere. They'll have to uh, do their own thing here. Uh, frugality book, definitely for these. And then I think uh, passion book probably wouldn't be too far out of the realm of uh, possibility there. So that will give them a substantial amount of magic mushrooms in that province colony, whatever you want to call it. Where did I put... I know I have it in here. Once again, begging for a search bar to type in anything and have, have them uh, just warp me to the closest thing. Okay, I think we can probably probably get rid of this stone tool shop here. We have so many stone tools. Oh, now it downgraded that house? Why? Why, why is that? Why why did you do that? Bank, okay. That's fine. More level seven, more level six. Level two, for some reason there's no anything in here. Pottery. Tulips. Are you just out of range? No, you're not out of range. So what what gives, man? What gives? Need input of grapes? Don't tell me you don't have any grapes. Look at all these. Look at all these grapes everywhere. There's unbelievable amounts of grapes. All right. 
we're just going to super upgrade the wineries. Sustainability and frugality. Sounds like a plan for a winery. There we go. Frugality. I don't have another sustainability card. So it is just these two. Definitely, uh, definitely need some help with that. That's what the front of a level 7 house looks like. That's cool. That actually looks really nice. Come on, let me click on the house. And these guys, uh, there is no luxury importer, and I can't build one because I have a tulip farm. One provincial building. So I think... Starving. What district? Well... This hopefully should help these guys. So Colony 2 doesn't have enough food. Well, that's why I started making cattle ranches and farms and stuff. So I guess late autumn we can go ahead and... Man... Can I, can I actually get away with this? That's kind of bonkers, actually. With, okay, it has to be 50. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll just do that then. Let's see, wheat, um, what do I already have here? I have wheat, milk, fish, bread, honey. So let's do some potatoes. And we'll just go ahead and uh, set that up there. Potatoes. I'll leave space for this to be cabbage. So the granary should help with that. House downgraded because of stupid reasons, I'm sure. Why? Why? The, the meme with the preacher. Why? Why? We haven't bought this province? Why? All right, we have warehouse storage. That's encouragement at least. How are we looking on our... Oh, so we actually need a lot more houses. Where am I going to put more houses? I guess I have to have a space with appeal. Now uh, there's lowered appeal around the Magic Mushrooms farm, which I guess is maybe possibly warranted. Not sure. Um, let's put in a market somewhere. I guess we just do uh, up here. And then just put a bunch of houses around it. Really? Okay, that's fine. I didn't even think to uh, to check and see if there was anything going to be obstructing it. But a luxury importer right there is probably smart. Bring in a stone road. I probably should have aligned this slightly better, but oh, Hermione died of old age. Rest in peace. Uh, I'm going to sell the stone tool shop. Don't need that. Okay, and then we're going to have... I'll leave a space in the middle. You know why. For our wonderful, amazing shrubberies. All right. So now the appeal is an astounding 145% for some of these. You love to see it. Why is the game paused? I didn't think I told it to pause. Market quick build. All right, you know the drill. We got to upgrade all of our insulations again. And then get a whole bunch of people to come in here so we can have a whole bunch of workers. We can have a whole bunch of stuff all taken care of. So yes, we'll just... Have to go all the way across here. 
And it probably wouldn't hurt to upgrade all these to stone. All right, yeah, you can you can very easily see how I end up playing this game for an hour and a half every single time, even though I very solemnly promise to uh, actually not do that. It is what it is. Some of these guys are already upgrading, which is nice to see. We are going to keep placing houses over here because we can. Mm, that's not going to fit there, but it does fit there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then we'll bring a whole bunch of immigrants in. Of course, after we stabilize our food. I have not forgotten about how uh, unbalanced all of that is. All right, so that's all done. Those will get built in, occupied in due time. We're out of medicine. That's what I need to be growing is all of that stuff. That can be for medicinal herb. And then I think we have, uh, do we have... No, we don't. I need to build. Where's the medicine maker? There we go. All right, and that's going to be, I don't remember if that's an expensive building to run. Immigrants, yes, please, welcome. Okay, mid-spring, go ahead and quick build the farm. Medicinal herb, get these guys going here. We actually are almost completely full and employed. Yes, I know they're complaining about there not being any food, so... Mm -mm -mm -mm. How about what is the cheapest food? Because I don't have a ton of money. We're going to have to export some stuff too. Red. All right. And then we're going to sell. My God, look at all that cocoa. Okay. But I don't think I can actually just export. No, I can't. We need to probably build another couple of chocolatiers. Um, iron ore. There we go. Let's uh, export that. I think I should be able to pull that off. People are going to be complaining about food. Bricks, vodkas, coffees, glass, cannabis. I don't need to be importing cannabis from there that's probably still fine coal medicine and beer we're going to stop importing medicine and instead import food uh, i can go up and go down that's probably fine how are we doing over here on all of this i imagine this is probably okay where are we dying from starving Yep. Well, I played with fire. Now I'm going to get burned. That is just the way it goes here, folks. Planting food and getting food imported. The colony, stone tools. We can stop importing milk. We can just import food instead. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. I hear you. All right, just stop making that ominous gong noise. Okay, we have clothing. Oh, wow, do we have clothing. Okay. Oh, come on. Where are we here? Clothing. I wish I could keep this panel when I'm zoomed out. That would be nice. All right, are we importing clothing? Something tells me we are probably not. Oh, we probably should stop importing wood and change that instead to clothes. Mm 
Okay, that's, uh... Fine, aside from all the death. Oh, see, now we have 61 houses level 6. When people are dying, that's, uh, 62. Great, I, I really don't understand why that's a thing. But for whatever reason, it is. And that's just the way it goes. So I guess we should be... Wow, all right. Well, clearly I have made many mistakes. Many mistakes. I need another chocolatier. That's what I need. Jeez. Yeah, I gotta find another, uh, another good spot for all this stuff. Can't quick build, of course. But I can frugality build. Well, this problem will eventually fix itself once we have our medicinal herb growing and also made. We'll just uh, do that. We'll just have to ignore all those sounds. Yeah, this has gone on for entirely too long. But hey, we have 1,200. And, uh, okay, that number is falling faster than I want to admit. But we have over 1,000 people here. Uh, we have all of our tribute coming in from our vassals, and then we have these guys we haven't been able to attack yet because we've been, uh, well, we've been focused on starving our population and expanding too fast when we don't have the means to actually uh, do it correctly. But regardless of all of the constant dinging of people are leaving because they're unhappy and or starving, I think uh, stuff is still going pretty well. We're never going to get to 80 houses, I guess. We'll just keep on bringing up all these points with nothing to ever show for it. <sighs> hey, these guys have all access to all this stuff, but they still won't, uh, still won't be able to get luxuries, I guess. They don't have any beer. They don't have any cannabis. They don't have any furniture. They don't have any pottery. don't have any tulips. Oh well, we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure that out the next episode on Monday because we are well and truly out of time and beyond out of time. But like, just take a look at this entire map. Look at look at all this. We got a ton of our stuff everywhere over here. We got vassals here. We've got these resource outposts. Oh, they're at tier ten. Impressive. Yeah, we're, uh, aside from, you know, the whole people dying of starvation thing because we grew just a little too fast, I think stuff's still going well. We are getting increasingly frustrated about not having access to the uh, industrial age stuff. It's just another uh, another luxury game, I suppose, so that's going to be a problem we're going to have to solve in the next episode because we are, as I said, super out of time. If you've stuck around this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, want to roast me for killing all of my people with uh, starvation for the at least third or fourth time in one of these videos, feel free to drop a comment below. I do read all of them. I can't always respond, but I do appreciate them, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, watch me do a little bit of good and a lot of, <laughs> a lot of bad in this episode with regard to the welfare of my citizens. But that's the way it goes in this kind of a... Uh, game you live and you learn and you get better for the next time hope you'll check out uh, timberborn on saturday and then sunday got a surprise fun stuff but we'll uh we'll have a good time with all that other other stuff and we'll uh we'll see you in the next video so whatever it is you're doing today stay safe have fun and we will see you later Bye bye